Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good whatever it is to wherever you are right now. Hold on, excuse me. <coughs> Had a little frog in my throat. Um, welcome back to our Sunday piano stream. Hopefully today we're going to be finishing off the prelude in E minor by Chopin. But as always, we're going to get started with some scales and some arpeggios. I'll just wait for a few people to jump in and then we'll get started. If you're watching, let me know where you're watching from and how your week's been and how your practice has been going. Right. Evening, Reese. How's everything? How's things going? How's your week been since I last saw you? Let's kick things off with some nice scales. We're going to get a metronome on uh, 90 BPM and we're going to go through all our scales that we've learned so far. Um, two octaves. Uh, each scale is happening twice and we're not going to have any breaks in between. Let's see how we get on. One, two. So our speed as usual. Yep. So let's get started. Daniel, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Moving down to A. Moving down to G. Hey, Maria. One, two, three, four. G, one and 
two and three and four and. Okay, Maria, we're just going to run through the scales again. We're going to keep going through this time. We're not going to have any single breaks in between. So as soon as we fit the C twice, we're going down to the A twice and so on. So let's see if we can keep up. Hands on the C. Let's get ready to start. And one and two and three and four and... time through the gauntlet let's go back and see one two three four Let's move on to some arpeggios. Karim, where are you from originally? Originally, I always love that question. Originally, like I'm, like it's uh, what's your origin story? Where are you superhero from? Um, UK is my origin story, uh, England. If the question is where are my parents from? My parents are Jamaican, Caribbean. Um, and uh, my mum was a Muslim for uh, most of her young adult life, hence why I have an Arabic name. All right, let's jump into some arpeggios. Same speed. We're going to do right hand um, and then left hand and then both hands together. Hello, everybody jumping in the chat. Um, make sure you're at your keyboard. How long have I been playing for? Um, about 15 years now I think alright let's go left hand no right hand sorry then left hand you ready let's start on C twice with each hand one two three one two three one two three one two three get the left hand ready one two three one two three Let's 
get both hands ready. One, two, three, one, two, three. Moving up to A and again, one, two, three, one, two, three. Left hand ready. One, two, three, one, two, three. Both hands. One, two, three, one, two. Three. Let's move down to G's, right hand. And one, two, three, one, two, three. Left hand on the G, one, two, three, one, two, three. Both hands together, one, two, three, one, two, three. Moving down to ease, right hand, one, two, three, one, two, three. Left hand, get ready on the E, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hands together, let's go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Excellent. This time now we're gonna do the whole thing again, except no breaks in between. Let's see if we can keep up. Again, don't worry if it's going a bit too fast for you. Um try your hardest to keep up and then during the week you can practice to get up to speed let's jump back on c again right hand twice left hand twice both hands together one two three one two three get left hand ready we're coming straight in no worries maria take it take out your own pace okay both hands. If you need to do it one hand, do it one handed. Take it at your own pace. Absolutely fine. During the week, you can catch up. And one, two, three on A minor now. One, two, three, one, two, three. Just a little bit. Let's go into G and one, two, three, one, two, three. Hand. 
by fans. Great, great, great stuff. Again, don't worry if it was going a bit too fast. Maybe I got a bit carried away. Um, but yes, I want you to keep your work up for that during the week. Let's jump into our prelude and see if we can finish it off uh, this week. There shouldn't be too much left of it. Um, where we got up to last time. So round here, once we get back, let's look at what the left hand is doing. So we get back, um, same chord here, three, four, we're going to change to this same chord again, F sharp, A and the E, three, four, except here, instead of going just to the E flat, we're also jumping straight to the F, A and the E flat. So let me show you what I mean. One, two, three, four, F sharp A, one, two, then change. Yep. Two, three, four, F sharp A. Switch E flat with the F at the end. Then after that chord, we're going to stay on the E flat. We've got F, A flat, and an E flat. The middle finger goes down. Then thumb. So, one, two, three, four. Changes to the F sharp and the A. Then E flat with the F, A, E flat. Then middle finger goes down to the A flat, two, three, four, thumb goes down to a D, and then E. So these chords are going to change every two, they change quite fast. So from here, one, two, three, let me do that slowly again, from the E. G, B, and E from the top. So one, two, three, three, four. To the F sharp and the A. To switch F, A, E flat. Then we're going to go A flat in the middle. One, change, and change. Two, three, four. You see that? One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. F, A flat, E flat. Down to F, A flat, D. And then you move the little finger onto the E. Let's try that sequence again. F sharp, A. E flat is coming now with the F. A flat in the middle down and then little finger down let's go one more time around F A 
A, E flat. A flat in the middle, everything stays the same. Thumb goes down to D, one, two, little finger down. One, two, three, four. After hair, the A flat turns to a G. One, two, three, four. And we go to the C sharp. One, two, three, four. Let's go back to the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A. F sharp, A, E, to F sharp, A to the E flat, two, and A flat in the middle. Thumb goes down to the D, and then to the E, two, three, G, C sharp. One more time again. F A E flat. F A flat to the E flat. To the D. Down to the E. E G to the D. C sharp. Last time, and we'll do the last couple chords of that phrase. Back on the G E, G B E. One, two, three, four. Switch it round. A flat to the D, and down again. G, C sharp. Then once we're at this point, we're gonna jump down to a C sharp with a B flat. One, two, and then that goes down to C, E, A. One, two. C sharp, E, B flat. Twice, one, two. C sharp, E, and A. Twice, one, Two. Really slowly from the top again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A. F sharp, A and E to switch around to F, A and E flat. One, switch it to the A flat in the middle. Then D is coming, E at the bottom. Make the A flat to the G, C sharp, down to the C sharp, E and B flat, one, two, and then switch down, one, two. Nice and slowly again. Jump down and again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, F sharp A with the E, one, two, switch around F A to the E flat, A flat in the middle, D, and down to the E with the little finger, E G with the D. E, G, C sharp, jump down, C sharp, E, B, C, E, A. One more time from the top. Very nice. At this point, 
uh, let's see what the right hand is doing together at the same time. So very simply, again, we've got the B. This bit we need to look at with the right hand because when we get to here, we're going to do a little turn on the. You're going to put third on B, second on B flat, and thumb is on A. And we're just going to, as you roll down, B flat, A. flat so we're finishing on b flat with the second and we're jumping up with the fifth to g let me show you where that comes switch a flat in the middle to the d and down to the e and here we go when the C sharp comes, let's do this bit just really slowly. From here, E, G, and D with the B. One. We've got two B flats. On the second B flat is when we're going to go on to the chord with the E, G, and C sharp. Let's go back to here. One. again one on the second chord is when we're going to start our turn is hopeless for now um let's try it even slowly yes don't worry about getting perfect just try and let's uh try and get both hands working together very slowly one two and change bum 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 up Let's go from the top because the next phrase after that is even, um, it's, a, it's, it's a little bit trickier as well. Um, so back from the top. Change. F, A, E flat is coming. A flat in the middle down to the D and little finger to the E get ready here we go with the G one B flat twice let's do that two times again Last time.
Very nice. We're going to move on a bit, but don't worry. We're going to come back to do the left hand um, with the notes falling down as well. So let's just move on from this next part after we've here. We want two octaves, an oct well, two octaves, two Bs on the octave. Um, we're going to hit that once, once, and you jump all the way back up to C, middle C, F sharp, and A. So one two three four let's practice that jump from the b's b's down here it's the b um an octave below the middle c uh a practice up to an earlier point i think did you i think we got up to um the section as it turned around um uh, so if you imagine Did you do this bit here, Maria? And then that takes us back in here. So this is where we're starting today. So it takes us round. And then down. Change. So I think I think you're 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 definitely with us. Um I don't think you've missed anything. Um maybe just when the way I jumped in may may have been uh I didn't communicate correctly where exactly we were in the piece. Um so coming from these Bs up to F sharp only on the left, how did I miss it? Um You, you, uh, you, you try to sneak, sneak away with doing, with doing less. Um, we're gonna look. Don't worry. We'll look at the whole thing as well as we run for it. Um, so any bits that people may have missed out, we will definitely uh make sure you've got that. Let's go from these octave Bs. From here, one, two, three, four. And then we're going to jump down to E, G, B, and F sharp. Uh, this bit is going to be quite tricky in the movements. One, then down to the E, three, four. So just here, stretch, little finger on G, third on B, and thumb on F sharp. Bam, and then move the thumb to the E. From there, it moves up to an A minor chord. Let's look at this movement. A minor in the middle, A, C and E. 
one, two, you gotta jump down to a low A and then jump back up to an E, F sharp and C. So there's a lot of movement in this bit. Let's go from the Bs. All the way up to the C, F sharp, A, four times. Jump to the G and the B, two, three, four. Move up to the A minor, one, two, octave A down, E, F sharp and C. And then we finish on B, E and octave B. Let's see if we can do that whole passage quite slowly. On the Bs, one, two, three, four. Switch to the G, B with the F sharp, one, down to the E, three, four. Move up to the A minor, one, two, octave A at the bottom, jump into the E, F sharp and C, and then moving down to a B, E and B. One, two. Jump down. Very nice. Let's see if we can go around again. Let me move my mouse out the way. G, B, F sharp, one, switch to the E, three, four, jump up, A minor, one, two, down to the A, one, E, F sharp and the C, then to the B. Let's move through that left hand very slowly. Left hand only from the first bit of the second half. Four, one, two, three. Down to the F sharp, A and the E. One, two, F, A and the E flat. F, A flat with the E flat. One, two, F, A flat to the D. One, then E at the bottom, one, two, E, G with a D, one, two, C sharp at the top, jump down, C sharp, E with a B flat, with the A, octave Bs, one, jump all the way back up, two, three, four, G, B, F sharp, one, down to the E, three, four, on the A's, one, octave down and let's I'm going to put on the falling notes for us uh, just for that section uh, let's get rid of right hand let's slow this right down Get ready. Okay, let's get ready. Down to the F sharp. F A with the E flat. F A flat with the E flat. Get the D down. E at the bottom. G, the A flat turns to a G. D to a C sharp. Jump down to the A. Low Bs. G, B with the F sharp to the E. 
ACE, octave, low octave A, up to E, F sharp and C, down to B, E. And then when we get here, from the B, we're just going to bounce on B, then back to the C, E, A, 2, and then back to B, E, B, and then we resolve on B, E flat, B. 1, 2, so... Let me show you really slowly from here. Boom. C A C E A and then back. And then to the E flat. One two and then down to the A and that passage finishes on the C and the E very close to the end but before we move on to the next phrase let's try and see what our right hand is doing and again it's going to be quite tricky because um, this movement here uh, it really ramps it up just a little bit um, so let's go from the very top again from well not the very top the top of this first half G B and E with the B um, we're coming into the phrase on the one two three one C to the B switch around to F A and E flat C again, C, and then F, A flat, E flat, F, A flat to the D, E, A flat, and the D, make the A flat to the G, two B flats, turn, jump up, F sharp, E, E. See that? E flat to C back to E flat. E, E flat. You're going to get your thumb on the E. Second's going to go on the E flat. And you're going to stretch with your fifth to the C. Thumb is coming on the E here. Second over. Yeah, let's do that one more time again, coming from here. Turn. Fourth here, thumb. do this bit very slowly from here so once we've gone thumb is on the E as this chord changes to G B and F sharp thumb is still on the E E um, E flat sorry walk up to the E to G and it finishes on the B Very slowly again. One, two, three, four.
thumb. Spread. Stay there. E flat. Thumb. To the B. Let's try and do that top passage up to there. A to the E flat, F A flat, F A flat to the D, E A flat to the D, two B flats, turn, up, thumb, get ready with the thumb, E, E spread to the C stay on the E flat thumb fourth on G thumb on B one more time from the top again This bit, we're going to go to the D. It's going to go D, C, E, octave down to the E. So this bit is has the most movement for the whole piece. For the whole piece, we've just been going on two fingers. And then it really gets to <laughs> this phrase. And it's like a lot of movement is happening with our fingers. But don't worry, once we get over this hill, it then um it gets it gets back to normal again. So let's just look at this phrase from here. Let's just do right hand on its own from the turn. Third on B, second on B flat, we're gonna go. down and then thumb is ready on the E, two E's to the E flat, spread to the C, back to the E flat. Um, yes, we'll, we're going to jump. Let's let's go from the start. I'm going to do this patches again and then let's play it from the start with the notes as well falling down to see if we can get all the way through. I was hoping maybe we could finish this off, but it might be that we might just have to practice this uh, section uh, before we do the end bit. What do you think? Let me know. Jump. 
I'm going to go from the top very slowly and then I'm going to put the notes on very slowly and we're only going to play up to that point um, just so we don't overload ourselves. So from the top again. That's literally just the end part of the phrase. I'm going to put the full in notes on. Um, we're going to do right hand going all the way through up to that section. Then we'll do left hand and then we'll try and put both of them together. So, yeah, that last pick with the DCBB is literally um, it's, it's, it's just a few notes after the uh, after the phrase as it goes round into um, the second section. Uh, right hand, let's go, let's go from the top again, loop end, let's do it to about there, loop start, let's speed up a bit, cool, let's get ready. Let me put the metronome clicking all the way through.
So the phrase finishes and then we go D, C, B, B. F sharp A with the E. Now this time F sharp A with the E flat. With the A flat. Down to the D. To the E. G in the middle. Jump down and down. Get ready octave Bs. Jump up. Stop there, let me change that loop. One, two, three. So yes, do you do you see where where I mean Maria? You didn't you didn't really miss too much to be honest. Um let's go through that again from the top, then we're gonna do right hand. Um as you know, let's do right hand before we run out of time. Um and then we can try and do both hands again. Don't worry if it is way too fast for you. Um, you can always come back and just practice during the week, which is what I want you to do. Um, from the top. This is the easy bit. Get used to it. Two B flats. Get ready for the turn. Thumb on E. Spread little finger. Thumb. Fourth on G. Spread the thumb. Third. Second. Octave.
Grace No on the B. Excellent stuff. Let's try and do both hands together very slowly. Last thing of the day. From the top. Get your hands ready. I'm going to go over that F sharp bit again just before we finish. on that E, low B's, spread, change, thumb, fourth, spread to B, third on D, octave, Just quickly looking at that movement before it turns around. Maybe I didn't actually do it. There, 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 there's um, there's also that. Maybe I skipped over that bit. Uh, remember, as we're finishing the phrase for when we're here. Thumb on G, fourth on F sharp, C, B. E flat, F sharp. Thumb, fourth, second, thumb. Back up, second, third. One, two, three. So it's not much. Um, so don't worry about it, Maria. You didn't you literally didn't miss too much there. Um, and that just comes uh, as your <laughs> a 
and then we're back out. So really focus on this section here where the right hand wakes up and starts doing a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and just try very slowly to play it um, and to get through it. Um, take it one hand at a time and I'm sure you'll be fine. Um, I was hoping to finish this this week, but it's OK. We can finish it next week but i really want to get started on a new piece next week as well um so hopefully next week let's look at d major scale and d major arpeggio um and then maybe we can look at the beginning of the genopody um i think maria you said you already know how to play it fancy pants <laughs> We can look at playing some of those lovely, lovely uh, seventh chords. Um, all right. Anyways, it's been great as always to spend time with you on my Sunday. Um, I hope that's been great for you. I hope you got some stuff out of it today. Um, apologies if I was moving a little bit too fast on the scales. And um, yeah, practice, practice, practice during the week. Don't be shy to rewatch the video to get any um to um i was trying to remember that today well don't worry we can remember it next week next week we're gonna go in it and uh we'll have a nice time with it it's a very beautiful piece of music definitely one that everybody should have in their repertoire if they're playing a lovely romantic piano so yes please enjoy your week please stay safe and please keep practicing and I will catch you guys uh, next week. Much love to everybody. Take it easy. <laughs>